Most websites that you visit today more than likely have a theme switcher for alternating between dark and light mode. Not only does it provide a more modern and aesthetic feel to a website, it can help with eye strain and fatigue and can even improve site readability. In this video, I'll show you how to easily add a theme switcher that I'm currently using on the Comer Nikki Media website using Vue, a library called Vue Use, and Tailwind CSS. If you're unfamiliar with Vue Use, it's a collection of over 200 composables aimed to make development easier. I actually used this library in the previous video to create an infinite scrolling component. Also, if you're looking for how to add a theme switcher to a non-framework application, I created a video a while back on this and you can find that link in the description. Now if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on this as it really helps out the channel. Also if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that for more content like this. Alright, let's jump into the video. Within VS Code, I'll assume you have a new Vue 3 project with Tailwind CSS configured. If you don't, you can easily create one by using the view build tool and running the command npm init view at latest. For guidance setting up Tailwind, you can reference my blog post for a step-by-step -step guide. That link will be in the description. Inside this application to save time, I'll just be adding some markup for a simple card within the home view to visually demonstrate the theme switcher. If you're looking to follow along step-by-step, -step, you can find this repo on GitHub. The link will be in the description. For the theme switcher logic, we're going to be using two composables from Vue Use, Use Dark and Use Toggle. We'll need to add this library to the Vue project. In the integrated terminal, we can install Vue Use using the command npmi at vueuse slash core. Once installed, we'll have access to the entire Vue Use library within our project. To determine the theme to display, we're going to be using the Use Dark Composable. First, let's import this within the home view and then create a new variable called isDark and set it equal to the method useDark. This method does a few things. When invoked, it's going to initially check to see if the user has a selected preference via local storage. If they don't, then it's going to default to the user's system preferences. Let's take a closer look. If we console.log is dark and then we head to the browser, you can see that the value is going to be true. Now I haven't yet set a preference, but my system preference is set to dark, so the value is going to be true. One thing I'll add to the template is a simple conditional operator to display the current mode. Now it's always a good choice to give users the option to choose a preference for the theme of the site. We can do this using the use toggle composable. Let's start by importing this composable and creating a new variable called toggle dark and set it equal to the use toggle method and this method accepts a parameter and for the value of this parameter we're going to use our variable of is dark. This composable is a simple boolean switcher that will handle alternating the user preference from dark to light mode and vice versa. On the button within the template we'll just want to add a click handler and run the toggle dark function each time it's clicked. Now within the application, if we click on the button to change a the theme, it's going to update to light. Now if we refresh the page, since use dark persists the value to local storage each time it's updated, the preference we choose will remain the same each time we come back to the application. Now behind the scenes, the use dark composable is adding and removing a class of dark to the HTML element. The use dark composable by default is set up for tail and CSS to correctly implement dark and light mode. It's worth mentioning that you can also fully control the selector, the attribute, and the values of the attribute for the use dark composable if you don't want to use Tailwind. The final step for the theme switcher is to inform Tailwind that we manually want to toggle dark and light mode. Out of the box, Tailwind uses a system preference. Within our Tailwind configuration, we need to add a dark mode option and set it equal to class. And now the class that is being toggled on and off on the HTML element will enable dark mode for Tailwind. To add styles that will only be applied when dark mode is enabled is very simple. You use a dark modifier as seen a few times here within this card and simply set the property you want. Now as we switch back and forth between dark and light mode, the component updates accordingly. And that's it. You have now implemented a theme switcher using Vue, Vue Use, and Tailwind CSS. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you found this helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.